In this video, I want to answer the question, what is Prince 2 Agile? Prince 2 Agile is a methodology for Prince 2 project managers who need to be able to tailor their approach to Agile contexts and situations. Prince2 is a formal project management methodology that was originally developed for the UK government for use in formal high governance environments. And it is originally designed very much as a predictive project management methodology. Prince2 Agile allows practitioners to combine the strong governance principles of Prince2 with the adaptability, flexibility, and rapid benefits delivery of the agile environment and of methodologies like Scrum or Kanban. Prince2 Agile is a certification program available for practitioners in project and program management environments. Axelos, the owners of Prince2 and Prince2 Agile, claim that Prince2 Agile is the most complete Agile project management solution available. There are two tiers of Prince2 Agile training and certification. There's Prince2 Agile Foundation and Prince2 Agile Practitioner. As you'd expect, Prince2 Agile Foundation contains all the basic principles that allow practitioners to embed Agile practices into their day to day Prince2 environment. The exam tests basic knowledge of the Prince2 governance principles and the way that we do agile project management. And of course, it also tests your understanding of how to put together the high governance and the adaptable principles that go with Prince2 and Agile. Prince2 Agile Practitioner contains all of the elements of the foundation exam syllabus but it also focuses on applying them to practical, real-world examples. The most obvious question is, aren't Prince2 and Agile mutually exclusive? The one is designed for a highly predictive environment, and the other is about adaptability. At first glance, this seems to be exactly right. Most people perceive that Prince2 and the methodology described in the Axelos manual, managing successful projects with Prince2, is highly rigorous, prescriptive, and predictive in nature. And it certainly is a formal approach that places a huge emphasis upon governance and control. After all, Prince stands for projects in controlled environments. So it's easy to see Prince2 as creating something of a command and control project environment. And those that are happy with that kind of structure and framework can easily see agile project management as being chaotic and uncontrolled, possibly even a little anarchic. So how do we reconcile Prince2's structure and formality with agile's adaptability? The answer is in the word tailoring, which is a central part of the Prince2 methodology. Indeed, you could argue that the adaptability of Agile is already embedded in Prince2. Prince2 recognizes the need to tailor your approach to the needs of the project. As a result, Prince2 Agile is effectively a hybrid approach. It takes all the best from the predictive capabilities of the Prince2 methodology, but allows them to work very well in an adaptive, flexible environment. But it's also a hybrid approach that is deeply respectful of the need for some organizations, particularly government and not-for-profit organizations, to create a strong governance framework around even its most adaptive and agile projects. Therefore, Prince2 Agile helps organizations to synthesize two very different but highly complementary approaches to meet their needs. They can get the best of both worlds because the Prince2 part allows them to focus on getting the products 
that meet the organizational requirements. While the agile part focuses on allowing the organization to deliver those products in an adaptable and responsive manner. Now, organizations can work within a strong governance framework and yet deliver incrementally and iteratively to ensure that the products evolve to meet changing needs. This means that within Prince2 Agile, you can work with any Agile methodology, Scrum, Kanban, or any other methodology you choose. The only requirement is that we need to wrap around them the governance structure and the control mechanisms that Prince2 requires. This schematic illustration shows just what I mean. In this diagram, the stages are not agile iterations. They are the normal Prince2 stages. The iterations of whichever model you use of agile development, in this case, probably Scrum, fit within the stages of the Prince2 lifecycle. Each stage can contain one or more release, and each release can consist of one or more iteration. Prince2 Agile follows DSDM terminology in calling its iterations time boxes. The last important thing to say is that Prince2 has six important performance targets. Time, cost, quality, scope, risks, and benefits. In Prince2 Agile, time and cost are fixed. They cannot change. So to deliver what users need, we flex scope and quality according to user requirements. The customer or client will also determine the balance of risk and benefit. And to achieve all of this ongoing prioritization, Prince2 Agile recommends tools like Moscow Analysis and the use of a backlog, just as we do in many Agile methodologies. So Prince2 Agile is designed to be a hybrid approach that takes the best of the governance and control of Prince2 and the adaptability and responsiveness of Agile. It allows organizations to get the best of both worlds by fitting Agile cycles within a framework of a highly controlled Prince2 project. Please do smash that like button if you've enjoyed this video. I'll be creating loads more great project management content for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.